Hi guys, Michael again, and uh, I'm here to talk to you today because I've had a few emails requesting me to explain MS in simple terms. Firstly, MS stands for multiple sclerosis, for those of you that didn't know, and it is an autoimmune disease. It affects the central nervous system, and MS stands for multiple scarring. So what do I mean by an autoimmune disease? I mean that our body has defences. It has little cells in it that starts eating away the bad cells. Well, autoimmune means it starts mistakenly attacking healthy cells as well, which is what's happening to people with MS. MS has nerve, uh, sorry, MS damages the nerves and it damages the myelin sheath. Now, is that simple terms? No, 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 no. Let me explain it like this. Let's imagine our body is a house and all that house has many rooms. Our arms, our arm is one room, our leg is one room, and so forth. Our eyes are a room. Each room has an electrical appliance. A light, a fridge, a TV, an air conditioner, and so forth. Okay, now I want you to imagine a little mouse is in the roof and he's eating away at the coating of our electrical wiring system. What's going to happen? Of course, he's going to get fried, sure. But what else will happen? Yes, there's a short circuit that occurs. The TV will go off. The lights will start to flicker. That's exactly what is happening in a person with MS. The myelin sheath gets scarred from that autoimmune system and therefore the signals don't flow through as fast as they should. Let's have a look. Here is a video of a normal electrical impulse going through the nerves okay you can see that it's going through quite easily quite fast smoothly and everything is working perfectly now let's have a look at this one this one here the electrical impulses are slowed because you can see the scarring around the outside of that protection it slows the signal down the signal is intermittent and it doesn't work properly so what happens is that the body switches off the use of part of the body, our fingers, our arms, our eyesight, uh, even our internal organs. It can affect numbness throughout our skin, over the half of our body, over the whole of our body, over a part of our body. It can also uh, cause uncontrollable twitches. Now, this is caused because that electrical impulse is not going through smoothly. Now, it's a difficult disease to diagnose and it can be many years before a confirmation is actually confirmed. Okay, I lived with MS for many years uh, without any physical um, sight of damage. And nowadays, 29 years later, I walk with a limp and my right arm uh, doesn't work as it should and I have very limited use of my right fingers. Now, studies have proven that if you exercise regularly, this will help with that body rerouting the signal. It's an amazing piece of equipment. It reroutes the signal through a different channel to get that item working again. Now that's called remission when that happens. So people go in and out of remission. As it repairs itself, something else gets damaged and it'll hopefully repair itself again. What we call relapsing and remitting. Okay, if you have MS or you know anyone with MS, don't be afraid to contact your local MS organization in your country or state, okay? There are over 2.5 million people worldwide with, with MS, so you are not alone. The MS organization will offer assistance. They can offer any advice. They are the experts in this case, okay? So please comment below. Please subscribe and check out my other videos uh, from Michael with MS. And uh, I'll see you next time you're here. Thanks, guys. Bye.